are recording. Alrighty. Well, last week on this seems like an unbalanced encounter. Um, the party uh, began the session engaged in terrifying combat. Um, we all fell one after the other um, in seemingly horrible or terribly horrific ways. Uh, Orca died first, and after she died, her life essence essentially was condensed into an orb that floated above her body. Uh, and unbeknownst to us, touching it was a bad idea, and so we touched it, and then Orca's body turned to dust. Um, and then Cantor died, but it was okay because then he got brought back, but then it wasn't okay because then he died again. Um, then Ren, having to make a necessary sacrifice, killed Trig, and then Wolfheart died, and then Mel died, and then Hain died, and somewhere in between, like, the last three deaths there, Ren got really, really pissed off at Elias, um, and decided, fuck these other guys who are literally murdering my friends, I'm gonna murder you. Uh, and Elias was like, hey, whoa, ain't gotta be like that, and she was like, nah, it do though. Um, and so there was a, a bevy of fireballs, Ren acquired a new head, um, Elias, after being fireballed several times, tried to strike back at Ren and then bit her, but she only then laughed at him, um, and then her head exploded, uh, her new head, not the old head, I don't know, it's probably the old head too, because probably the old head was underneath the new head, I don't know how it works exactly. Uh, but after that horrific experience of having someone's head explode after you bite into their neck, uh, Elias woke up because uh, he was having it just a terrible dream. It was real bad. The fairy that he had spoken to upon the party's arrival in this place uh, had tricked him into pulling a mandrake, and that mandrake exposed him to something that put him to sleep and caused him to experience and a slowly, but then consistently fast, uh, uh, more faster, uh, ac acceleratingly, uh, horrible nightmare. It started off slow and then it got bad really fast. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, in summation of all of that, uh, and coming to terms with those facts, Elias did the one thing he thought that would be the reasonable uh, response and tried to eat the fairy. The fairy did not find that response reasonable, and so they disappeared. And so instead, Elias began to make his way back into town. Uh, while he was doing so, the party, uh, the rest of the party, was busy doing mundane things. They were shopping for breads and other assorted various items. Uh, when they came upon Cantor's ex-wife and daughter who were shopping in the market, um, they approached uh, the two of them, hoping to converse with them uh, and offer their aid in protecting uh, the two of them. But she wanted nothing to do with the party, despite their uh, relaying to her that they were, in fact, uh, the dear friends and allies of her ex-husband and the father of her child. Um, after persisting for a while, but then kind of being met by a stone wall, the party eventually um, relented uh, and made their way for the inn where they came upon Elias, who, unbeknownst to them, had sapped the dreams, goals, aspirations, and will to live out of a, some random that lives in this place uh, because he had expended all of the dreams he had inside of himself when he fell asleep. Um, the party noticed that there was something off about Elias, but he wasn't feeling very conversational about it. And they eventually, again, had to relent. Uh, and it was about at this time, which had just so happened to be several hours after their shopping excursion, uh, an owl uh, came to the party and presented to them a mouse that was in its mouth 
And the mouse delivered the news to the party that Cantor's ex was now willing to speak with us. And that is where we left off. You motherfucker forgot the ducks. Yo. Oh. Also, there were ducks in the dream. They went up, no, they went down on a stream, and then they went up the same way they went down originally, and there was bubbles in between. Or beforehand. Or maybe both. I don't remember when the bubbles stopped and started, but there was bubbles. The, 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 the bubbles yes. happened, and then the ducks went one way, and then they came back the other way, but four times larger. Yes. They went from and quack to quack. Exactly. Look at the baby. Now look at the big baby. I would like to also point out that I do also remember for a fact that Elias was the only person who made an effort to wave at the ducks. Well, I was because dead, most of us so... were unconscious and or yeah. dead. I was I mean, a figment of your imagination. <laughs> so us not that's waving all... at the ducks was literally on you. That's all you've ever been, Elias. None of this is real. You need to wake up now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. You say that, and then all of a sudden I wake up in a dilapidated shack in the middle of some snowy mountain. No, no. All of a sudden you wake up and you are a duck. Obviously. Right. Exactly. Not just That's... any duck. Quackthulu, the one that dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's not what I thought. I thought you were going to say a space duck. You but that also you. means... <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Quack. That's what happened. Now it's time for new things to happen. Ciao. So we will pick back up after you had received the received message that. from from Squeak the mouse. Cat. Horrifying. Nice. All right. Um, that Satine is ready to meet you at the flower bed on the side of the great tree. Okay. Well, uh, Let's go. Yeah, I suppose that's kind of just the uh, long and short of it, yeah. Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you guys make your way uh, once again to the Side of the tree flower beds. And, uh, it looks empty. Huh. Is there a pedal that we can knock on? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can knock on a pedal. But what is this trap waiting to be triggered? She literally invited us here. Doesn't mean it's not a trap. I mean, I can't you, argue uh, with that. <laughs> you you uh, hear a voice behind you that says, Good, you weren't followed. Done, yeah, okay, that's fair. And uh, Satine walks past you and rests in one of the flower beds uh, without sinking into it to let it enclose around her, just sitting on the edge. Are you doing okay? <laughs> doing perfectly fine. Okay, because I know they're after you, and I did get your message, so... I figured you wouldn't be here otherwise. But I do know they're heading this way. It was only a matter of time. How's Tia doing? Well, she's a little tired of running. Yeah, bad. No. 
Can I can I see her? It's probably best that you don't. Okay, well, what can I do to help keep you guys safe? Well, I mean, if you could suddenly bring an end to the Golden Reapers, that would be... That would be incredible. I think that would help a lot. I mean, I would, I would love to, but as you can see, they kind of brought an end to me already. Is that how that happened? Yeah, they, uh... They found me in Three Oaks, like, before I could get out, and I tried to run. We we escaped, what, two or three times, but they just had too many numbers, and I apparently took a spear to the heart, and next thing I know, I wake up looking like this. Misfortune has a way of following you around, doesn't it? Unfortunately, yes. Um, I have a question. Mel raises her hand and everything. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Why are they after you? It's a good question. They think I stole something that belongs to them. What did you allegedly steal? Allegedly, I stole a magic coin. Oh! Well. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Why, uh... Is, is that why they got, got him? I don't know why they would kill Kotra. I assume it was to try to draw me out. I'm I think we can only assume it was the Golden Jeepers just because of the precursor context, but it's not like they actually killed him. It was some sand wraith is the only way I can put it. You were visited by a manifestation of their god? I am sorry, <laughs> that- what? Huh? Oh! Oh, I Say hate my now? life! Oh, all of a sudden, it all makes so much sense. <laughs> the Golden Reapers worship... Uh, I, I don't know what its name is, but it's some... Some person that's dressed in gold armor. It sounds like this fits that description. Gold oh, armor kind of looks like an eagle. Yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy, what did you do? <laughs> Mel feels like she's just gonna have about a fucking mental break. It's fine. <laughs> it's bad yeah, the, from From what I understand from working with them for... Against my will, mind you. <laughs> didn't know about it till they started coming after me. Um, there's a few different groups that are similar to the Golden Reapers, but they don't go by the same name. They have different... They represent different ideologies of this individual that they worship. Who... who is... did you ever get a name? Like, who? No. <laughs> I'm assuming they might not know it. They might refer to them as a title. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Damn 
just cracked a cold one. <laughs> Tea. That was a it's really a great early, pop, but... honestly. That was a great fucking crispy can. That was like right on, right when it got quiet too. <laughs> I wasn't that's, expecting that's it to get quiet. To do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do that in movies on purpose, like specifically wait for a quiet moment in a movie, like in a movie theater, and then crack, crack, crack yeah. open a cold one. It the problems only... I'm not pulling a Johnny and drinking on game. The only uh title I could think of that could fit it was the, if I remember correctly I think the Scions were talking about a Golden Emperor uh -huh. yeah I suppose add that to my list of things what the fuck so then I guess these individuals would probably see themselves as some sort of uh, military arm perhaps or like a, uh... at least this sect of it does well yeah exactly i'm not saying all of them just this one in particular well he was known for his craftiness in combat his ability to defend or attack with overwhelming force <laughs> Quite the formidable god. You said there are other groups. Yeah. Do you know what they call themselves? I know they exist. That's all I okay. know. Okay. No, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. The Reapers talked uh, about them as if they were not equals. But they are. Devoted to the same individual, yeah? That's my understanding. The Reapers seem to think that they're picking and choosing the more, I guess, uh, flowery of the, uh, of, of his, of his, like, of his teachings. I guess is the easier way to put it. The uh, the yeah, more the, the, the other group is less violent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Seemingly, at least. Similar situation to the coven studies underground. They all work well, the, the same person, but in different ways. It was said that the uh, Golden Emperor was very wealthy, um, but that he was always willing to share the wealth to those in need. So he was very helpful that knowledge might help you track down one of these groups if that's the the teaching that they follow you wouldn't mm. happen to know you said the only the only title you've heard of him referred to as the golden emperor I'm guessing you haven't heard him referred to as, like, his light, or, like, Lord of Light, or anything like that, right? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Okay. I mean, I suppose in a contextual sense, gold is probably associated with light in some way. What if the light oh, so was the a fuck different... Are you doing? <laughs> He doesn't know. He's only got one eye. Yeah, he's got one good eye. I mean, he's got both eyes. Don't judge him. He was standing up on the side <laughs> of the litter box. Josh, he has both eyes, but that doesn't mean they both work. Yeah. He's blind in one eye and can't see one. out of the other. I was gonna say we're not actually sure the other one actually works. It's just like just like my grandpa. <laughs> uh. So wait. With the, could we assume perhaps the light of our lord, like the lord's light and the golden emperor are probably similar figures but were well, not by two different sects? Exactly, no. I mean, there is still the thing that called him a traitor. Where are you guys getting this? Oh, lord sorry. Hi. Um, 
Well, see, we got these random pages, and um, oh, yeah, I see ghosts. It's so that's a what? lot. That's not Hi. the the ghost thing is. It adds to it. The pages are what brought us all together. It is why we were there when the Golden Reapers attacked Kotaran. And then their god killed him? We were drawn to the statue in the center of Three Oaks. And also, just to make things easier, uh, everybody, this is Satine, my ex-wife. Satine, this is Hain, Elias, Mel, uh, Bluebell, Wolfheart, and Orca. And uh, I I go by Cantor now, just so they don't find me as Cotrin. Damn, even I had forgotten the fake name. <laughs> Orca nods respectfully towards the team. Just to make Pleasure. introductions easier. Of course. Anyway. So how did you find out I was here? Uh... Yeah. Well, what what was that uh, that showed us? I can't remember. I mean, we've, we've, we've kind of been like tracking you this whole time, uh, and when we found someone that knew exactly where you were, and they sent us here. Was it one of the witches? Yeah. Witches. Okay. And that checks out. Yeah, they told us that they were on their way here, and she helped us get ahead. So we wound up uh, just outside of Foray Marchand, and uh, were able to get here in time before they got here. I believe that they shouldn't be here yet, but they're not so that far behind. So how far away are they? Uh, well, they said... Uh, what was it, about a two-week trip to get up here from the other place? A long two weeks. About? I don't exactly remember. So I, I, I'd say probably at least nine to ten days before it's an issue, but I wouldn't rule anything out because maybe they're traveling all night. <sighs> Or maybe they want to get there yeah. quick like we did. I don't. I don't know. I don't either. Uh, if you say nine to ten days, it's probably closer to one to two. Why do you say that? They travel quick. <sighs> We've noticed this recently. Well, if they have their wizard with them. That part we don't know. I'm pretty sure they do. That's not one we've encountered thus far. At least they think. I'm yet, yeah, um. Josh, I would know if there was a wizard amongst them in my dreams, right? Uh, you would know that there's a spellcaster in their ranks. What type of caster it is, I mean, that's fair. would that's would fair. be uncertain. Yeah, so I am confident that he's with them. Just got a sad eye, Elias. Like, huh? okay. Uh, I suppose that. Precludes my question on if the wizard has a penchant for stabbing people, but okay. No. Can I ask, um, how do you know so much about them? I worked with them briefly, unknowing who they were. Under what pretense? I smuggled goods into the city. And technically out of it as well. Hmm. 
Do you know what type of goods? Sometimes it was weapons. Sometimes it was drugs. Uh, seemed like at one point it was a small collection of pages. They had that one uh, extra protection with that. Where did they... They had it smuggled into the city, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's products. probably still in their possession. Craft, I'm assuming. Yeah, in their, their base hidden in the church. Did you... Did you go to any of their other bases, like, to smuggle things from? Because their base in the church is... No longer active. Doubt that. It's usually active. I didn't get a location for any of their other bases. I don't know if they have any. How did you get these goods then? Or were you, did you just like meet someone in the forest or something? Usually. In the forest, out on a boat. It's the two most common ways. Sometimes people would bring it into the city and I would pick it up from their carts and just take it to the church as well. And where is this coin that you allegedly stole from them? It's hidden away. Why do they think you took it? Because I did. <laughs> that'll, 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 do that'll do it that's why we were all air quoting allegedly this whole time <laughs> <laughs> I was under the impression that we, it was innocent until proven guilty clearly oh, you I was wrong sweet summer child. Orca just looks at Elias with a glare why did you take it they told me it had the power to kill everyone that opposes them instantly. Understandable. Sounds like a nifty tool to have. I'm also assuming you have no uh, evidence to substantiate that, considering I don't. I doubt, I doubt you would have used it yourself. I did not. The risks were too great. Especially if this coin is similar to ones we've encountered before. That aren't that powerful, at least as far as that, but... There's always a chance that it kind of hits back, though. Yeah, exactly. I don't suppose you have it on your person or wherever you're staying, do you? I don't. Okay. That's probably for the best, yeah. Are you sure the one that you have is hidden away somewhere? Yes. Okay, because so I just wanted to make sure because we've actually come across, I believe, I think, two of these now. Two. Are they as destructive as the other one? Um, we don't exactly know. We, we, we can't exactly put... I mean, I... Like, the one that I got isn't really destructive at all. It just lets me talk to dead people. Which is weird, because I could already kind of do that, but now I can just do it more, I guess. And the one that uh, I got from Ember is... Uh, 
something about Firebolt, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's just a cantrip, so no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and in either case, neither of them are particularly devastating, I suppose is the best way to put it. Yeah, that's why I was so surprised when they said they were chasing after this coin, because it's quite a, quite a spike in firepower between it and the ones that we've had experience with. My mm. understanding is that they're a lot out, out there. They're just rare to find. I'm assuming the stronger the coin, the harder it is to find it. Yeah, probably. Uh, that's usually how uh, magic things work. Yeah. So when I figured this coin was probably the only one of its kind, I figured it would be safe to well, best to well, hide it away where a group like them couldn't get it. Well, you know, only one of its kind or one of a rare few that would require much to get. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. Figure if I could buy a few years' time before another one was made or found, and then mm -hmm. they would have to react to that. At least it would give people a chance to <coughs> fight back against them. Do you know where these coins come from? I don't. I don't know much about them. There are experts out there, though. Um, I think to the south, if you go to Cathair Scalaire, there's a there's a woman there that has studied some. Yeah, we need some kind of arcanist or... Uh... Which are the magic people that make things? Uh, Art Artificer? Yeah, yeah, that. They might know more. I love just the man to speak to. That is concerning. You will not speak with disrespect of Horn Frenchist. I think it's more disrespect to you. Yeah, that, 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 that's more of what I was going for. Also, excuse me, what? Also, much more acceptable, so that's fine. Is... Is... Hmm. What? What? Not relevant. Right, um... I feel like it might be a little bit of uh, impropriety to ask where, but also at the same time... It is a relevant question. Where what? Ah, uh, where you hid the coin. Oh, I'm not telling you that. Fair. Yeah, that's what I expected. And it's probably good that we don't know, in case we're ever questioned. That... is fair, yeah. So even if you wanted to tell me, I honestly wouldn't want to know. I just wanted I to make sure it's safe. It. Right. Okay. Well, I suppose that's fair. I didn't think about the whole questioning thing. Um, not really something I ever had to deal with in my line of work, but... Um... You know how the spellcasters can get in your heads. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So, what exactly is the plan now? Were you are, are yeah. you planning on leaving again? I'm definitely planning on leaving again. There sounds like they're closing in, and Nevaeh isn't exactly a defensible town. How long do you think you can keep avoiding them? Forever. I believe in you. The guys that are chasing me are, aren't the brains of the operation. I hope you know that. Scions are followers. They're not capable, though, is the problem. Well, they're capable, but they don't have a mind of their own. They just do what they're told. 
Who's the one telling them what to do? I I never found out who they are, but the leader's still in Willowcroft, from my understanding. Do they have, like, a, like a, a title or something that people refer to them as? I would assume so. I I only know the Scions. Hmm. To a uh, high echelon for your pay grade, so to speak. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, not to, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Just wanted to, uh, to uh, ask here. Um, so you seem to be a person of high level of skill and competence. Um, <laughs> I'm just smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a job. <laughs> Well, that's just, just, not, just not quite where we're going. Um, I don't believe you. Do you need somewhere safe to be that you don't necessarily need to be traveling about a great amount all the time? Are you offering for me to stay with you? Not with me, but with people I work with. I know of a place that you could be where... Literally no one would be able to find you, and even if they knew where you were, there's not a chance in hell they'd be able to get to you. Where would that be? Uh, you and I would have to speak about that privately. So here's the thing. The more people that know where I'm at, the worse. The greater the risk is. No. The All the more reason for you and I to speak of this privately. Yeah, but if you know where I'm at, it would still be easier for them to find me. So, I'll take my chances. That's your business. I suppose now that that's uh, a relevant question. Upon you. I suppose now that that's a relevant question. We don't... How many scions are there? I think we only know of, what, three? I guess four now, because of this wizard? There's at least five. If you count their new lab dog. I don't know if he's Vich, made Scion yet, but... Which one is... Is that the Giss Yankee? Yes. Okay, that was one I already knew. So it's the Giss Yankee, the Tiefling, the... Did we ever see what... The Stabbing Man was? I don't remember. You don't have a race for him. It was very fast. Okay, the yeah, the uh, the the uh, stab happy one, and then this spellcaster. So then, who's the feet? The Reaper. Okay, well, they're all Reapers. Yeah, okay, it might be more of a literal sense. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's it, these people don't exactly seem like they're the most creative. Especially with what Satina said already, that they're more, more or less, uh... Lackeys. These are code names that they use. The Tiefling. The female. I think she's the only woman. <laughs> she acts as more of a, a more of a brute for the group um, the strong arm more if you would say a bitch if you would that would also be an appropriate interpretation <laughs> sorry yeah, we... it is what it is yeah yeah, we, yeah, no, we, we, we are aware of at least some of the capabilities of the Tiefling and the Githyanki. It's Have you had more to fight them. We tried. It was we not not a successful venture. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they don't really. They don't tend to kill unnecessarily. If they let you live, it means that they didn't see you as a threat. Well, that, that would be all. appropriate, I suppose, for a performance, sir. 
the uh, the Reaper of the Reapers. He's a uh, more of an assassin type. Yeah, I suppose it's fair. Yeah. Hard to hard to track him, but very easy for him to track you. I mean, you'd need to get the surprise to use a farming tool as a weapon effectively, but uh... he uses, I believe, it's a sickle. That does not change my statement, but fair. Alright. Uh, there are two spellcasters in the group. Um, one of them is the, the, the wizard. The, yeah, the other one was the uh, murderer, I suppose, best way to put it. At least I assume. Unless he just moves really fast. Are you talking about the one with the glowing dagger? Yeah. I don't know what he is. I some... An asshole. He doesn't I'm... speak. Huh. I'm in lots of place. So if you're going to be leaving soon, I'm assuming you're taking Tia with you. Absolutely. Is there, is there any way that I can at least get to see her at least one time before you leave? You saw her at the market. I'd like to be able to actually hold my daughter, please. <laughs> Just a sharp inhale from Wolfheart, but he doesn't say anything. Make a persuasion check. I swear to God, Dice, if you fuck me. I mean... I'll give you a few minutes with her before I leave, before we leave. That's all I ask. Thank you. <laughs> so now what? I mean... I don't know if we have any more relevant questions. Do get a lot of information. Um, I don't suppose when you smuggled those pages in for the Reapers that you got to look at them? Uh, yeah, they were weird writing. Who has our oh. pages right now? <laughs> I've been holding on to them because nobody yeah. said, else said yeah. they would. I, I I just I couldn't remember. Um, I thought I had them. So. Well, they're on my character sheet. <laughs> this happens every single time we ask who has the page. Okay. Yep. I'm pretty always, sure Hayden has them. There's always two people that go, oh, "I got them." Yeah. The man with the fiery head is the lore keeper. <laughs> that's fine with me. I'm not gonna fight him for him. Yeah, he can. Yeah. No, it's just it's just um, funny. <laughs> well, I I literally put it in my notes. It was like pages because no one else wanted them <laughs> ah. okay. yeah okay so uh and do you want to uh show them to her maybe they're at least similar to anything well sure i mean put to me assumes they probably are but the confirmation i'll i'll take out both the completed chapter and the incomplete chapter that hasn't been translated ah <laughs> Yeah, writing looks the same for these as it did for what I was bringing in. Did you ever see one translated like these? Translated? Yes. You see, this, this journal here 
This was the first set. They, they might not the rest be of it. translated for anyone that doesn't us. Oh. We were all present when they were all put together, and then. Wait, you guys could read that? <sighs> yeah. The completed one, yeah. It, the, yeah, the, the one that he is saying is translated, we can comprehend. The other loose pages, we cannot. This one was what brought us all together in the first place. We it's all just happened to have a page somehow. Yeah. Well, if you guys can read them, they might be more use for you. And she reaches into her pocket and takes <laughs> out two pages and hands them to you. Hell yes! Oh. Yeah, you that's... Expect it. It's actually uh, really helpful, thank you. So that is six of seven on chapter two. We are one so away close. from a new chapter. Yeah, I wasn't Yee. sure if it was coded information for them, but I figured it would be best to hold on to it. They had gotten lost. I mean, if it's, on the cart. if it's coded, it's only because they know some sort of old dead language that isn't relevant anymore. The best we can kind of assume is that that's what it is. I have no idea, man. Ah, sure. <laughs> Like, bro, I got bigger problems, all right? <laughs> yeah, yes. We don't, we don't know either. Right. right. Um, well, I'm assuming you don't want us helping you escape, because that would be too more attention. obvious. Yeah. Um, I don't want you to know which direction I go. Right, fair. I get that. Um, is there some... I guess... Something that would give away your trail that we could use as a misdirect? Possibly to pull them into an ambush? Mm, it's not a bad idea, yeah. Are we prepared to take on it? Are we prepared to take on five of them? Why is having I don't think so. PTSD I don't flashbacks think so. in his brain right now? I <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> Um, That's just me. They're looking for me, so if you can, if one of you can disguise yourself, that would probably lure them in pretty effectively. Side I don't eye. Carry any like <laughs> finitive <laughs> items or anything of that sort. Right. If you're on the run, you don't want to be obvious. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Satine. Orca. <laughs> hey. Blue Bell. <laughs> God. Hold on, I almost, I almost messed up and said Ren. <laughs> that would have been the funniest way for that to come out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just picture Grace and, like Trig just grunts. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, thing, you? Elias, uh, he points at Wolfheart. Wolfheart. Before you leave, I do not know your religious persuasion, but if you would, if, would you like it if I did a small prayer for you and your daughter to make sure wherever you go, at least you have someone looking out for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asking you. Yeah, yeah. Elias's statement and Wolfheart's face are saying the same thing. I'm just like, mm, don't like that. <laughs> I wasn't asking you to. And she can say no. Wolfhart <laughs> would also just look away as you as you say that. Just, mm. Mm -hmm. Orca, yep. I'll be honest with you. I don't have a lot of faith in anything other than myself. And the That's one enough. note I left for Kautran... Because at least I have a little bit of faith in him. Mm. What you That's do what with your faith is entirely up to you. Of course. And I admire your strength and tenacity to protect yourself and your child. Right. Um, this is Krista physically forgetting. I always fucking forget the kid's name. Tia. 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 
Ta 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 Tia. Jeez, damn it. She pulls out the uh, the repaired teddy bear. She's just uh, for Tia. Since her original gift kind of got turned into her dad. You can just give it to her tomorrow. Oh, okay. Bright and early. Mm. Even when the sun rises. Yeah, that makes sense. Get sleep now. Good plan. Uh, I'd rather not. Oh, you're ready, bright and early. What? Okay. Apart from Grumbly, the rest of you should probably get some sleep. I know I'll be sleeping. Tia's already asleep. We'll be leaving in the morning. Where should we meet you then, the market? Probably the safest spot. Should be enough people around to obscure the interaction. Even better. Let's Even meet better. in their chapel. Hmm. Fair enough. Sleep well. She just begins walking down the path. Anybody looking at Kentor sees him looking after her. He looks like he wants to say something, but he's biting his tongue. And that's it. Well, this is, uh... We're ready to go sleep on some flowers. Oh. Me! All right. That's, uh... Might as well, I guess. Um, seeing how we haven't done it yet in this town, I want to look around for any other pages. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> we are only we, we are only missing one. It's yeah. true. All right, yeah. I'll join you on page hunting. Page hunting. Page hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Authors in disguise. <laughs> God damn it. Thank <laughs> you. I, I, I heard it. it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, in my head, I just couldn't think of the word to put before the in disguise. And I was like, come on, brain. All right. <laughs> That's what got me stuck, too. I was like, man, I don't know how to do this one. Nah, you delivered perfectly. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank what, you. What, 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 do we, what do we roll for this? Investigation or perception. One yeah, two. Either, either one. All right. Investigation. Perception. <laughs> Imagination. Fuck, where's my character sheet? Nice. That's a great question, Mega Man. I am very invested in my bread. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it is Put the bread of all get time. this bread to a different level. <laughs> After <laughs> multiple hours. Nice. Still. Uh, yeah, you gotta scour the town after dark and find no pages. Nice. Feck. Okay, Hayden, I think we should go. I don't think we're gonna find anything. Oh, you sound like you're about to pass out. I ate too much bed. <laughs> I'm really sleepy. I kind of forgot just like how, after eating, you know, entire watermelons and whole heads of lettuce, you kind of <laughs> get how filling bread can be. You're doing all right. You've been eating nonstop since we got here. <laughs> I haven't seen bread in so long, and it was really good bread. It was so cheap, so I mean, you know, I couldn't say no. And I got little jams. Look, and she pulls out one of her little like <laughs> jam vials. <laughs> Look, gift jams or jellies. Jam shakes it. It's a jam. <laughs> well, you probably got both. 
Are you guys going back down to the uh, other flower bed? Yes. Uh, I, I, I guess we'll go back. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the original <laughs> flower bed. Okay. Yeah, just making sure. Um, as you make your way do. down the uh, <laughs> well, path, we, we were just in the second one, but it's like that feels weird. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah. It feels weird. Like, <laughs> this hey, one's yeah. right next to the tree. I assume this is where people like, like the clergy sleep, or maybe it's just the uh, the dude. I don't remember his fucking name. The leader of this place. <laughs> Uh, oh, Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Bridges. Elias would go back to the inn. Electric Ass is Orcas. Joel Osteen. Orca's gonna separate from the group towards the flower patch, just kind of praying under her breath. Uh, before you guys separate. Okay. Um, as you're making your way. Two limbs are running away! <laughs> <laughs> um, as you're making your way down the path to the base of the tree that the section of flower of the flowers is on uh you see a person with a torch walking up um, they have fire kill them as you adjust to this individual you realize that <sighs> they are not holding a torch they are the torch God as you damn. see a fire genasi Nope. Nope. I'm walking <laughs> up the path. Nope. Ay, ay, ay. Is this a familiar fire genasi? You do recognize him, yes. Uh, he is <laughs> the only thing I want to do, and apparently Josh is like, no, motherfucker, wait another week. It, it I'm going to kill again. It is the <laughs> bard that you guys ran into at Night Alpha. Oh, Flamio Hotman. Flamio yep. Hotman! Let's go! <laughs> I just like elbow Orca, like. Huh? Eh, eh? Orca has her. Orca's just kind of sighing, has her hand, her face covering, her hand covering her. Like, she's just like holding her face, like, oh my god. <laughs> I like take a couple steps back away from Orca, reach into my back, pull out my notes for my novel, and stand <laughs> to the side, ready to note down anything important. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. You don't have to interact with them if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> we could definitely just keep walking and pretend we see nothing. <laughs> True. You guys can do whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna sit here and just let this happen. Alright, then we keep walking. Okay. Oh, but I want to see what happens. Poor B is having. Poor B has COVID right now, so like. <laughs> ah, a plague. She's uh, doing her best with the plague. A pox upon me. He approaches the uh, the lot of you and says, "Oh, familiar faces. Uh, the lot of you. I see you have also brought along your angel." <laughs> Our We're good. Orca deadpan t turns around to see what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it, Mike! And a, and a, and a fine specimen you are, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I especially enjoyed the mystique surrounding you. Mel, like, just nudging you blue, but like, add that in somewhere. I'm Definitely like... knowing about the story. Yeah, I just, like, write down, I'm like, angel, question mark, friend, question mark, new character, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, man, I, I get it. Flame respects flame. <laughs> Jesus. Mel's fuck. just, like, looking over my she's just like, no, 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 love triangle. Love triangle. <laughs> but there's already a triangle with the other Ganassi, so now how do I fit it's in the... It's a square. The... It's a rhombus. It's a square. It's a rhombus. That's just like... Quick, add in two more. Get the Star of David going. It's not, it's not a love rhombus. It's, it's the rhombus <laughs> of passion. 
Uh, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yes, the rhombus, the most passionate of the par- of the and parallel. I'm like, wait, 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 no! And then you see her like making sort of like a little like chart, and then the the there's a line. There's like the genasi that have their thing going, but then there's a line specifically from fire genasi to angel only. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Side characters, yes. Side character romance. Who's all but then the, you know part of the main romance absolutely conflict that's 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 <gasps> book two she writes underneath it unrequited love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you need if you need inspiration for that go go down to the copes talk to Rila, and he'll give you all the inspiration you need. <laughs> oh jesus oh christ oh my goodness yikes well greetings fellow genazi <laughs> Sorry, keep going. <laughs> Hello, fellow little, humans. Sorry, hey, a little bit of bread. <laughs> a little bit of bread caught my throat. You do, yeah. your fellow kids. <laughs> yeah, no fucking kidding. God, Jesus. I would address you. I would address you by name, but given you left us hanging with that one, I have to go with this. Oh no, darling, I left you hanging. Oof, oof. Ah. Uh, so I could just shrugs. Yeah, you left a little gift for me, so something makes me think you liked it. It? It? You liked it? It makes it sound like we had some passionate moment, which I believe I missed out on. Magic. (laughs) Magic is... passionate. Hmm. So what are you doing this far up north? Well, hopefully if I play my cards right, you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, no, man. Join that roll. <laughs> 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 it's, really, it's really dry. <laughs> I had me choking on that one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> my boyfriend, everybody. But it's... <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure you used that one last time. Yeah, I was gonna say, it feels like... The exact same line. <laughs> Buddy, you need some new a material. A little less aggressive the first time. The first time was a date. Then it's jumped to this. Or something like that. I don't know. Right. Well, if you're up this far north, uh, we're leaving tomorrow. So, unless you have anything else for me, I bid thee good night, and then she just walks right past him. Oh, she did the busy and everything. Wow, that was some. I like lean over to Mel, and I'm like, that was some frosty princess attitude. That was. Kent, that, oh see, my Kent, god, I see. You see, can't right? like, shiver and say, "Damn, I can feel that ice from here." Wow. <laughs> the fart just walks away behind Orca. <laughs> He's just like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> He seems on the face. He just kind of shrugs and says, Well, I would like to continue up the path to my lodgings for the night. Insight check. He seems unfazed. Is he actually? Insight check. <laughs> I'm also curious a, just for shits and giggles. He's a broken man inside. <laughs> Same, dude. Uh, I know someone here has insight as a proficiency. I steal theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty I sure mean, it's Cantor. Yeah, go ahead and steal mine. So, or uh, a reminder, I, I have yeah. expertise. Yeah, or, or yeah I can't take your expertise though. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, Hayne has reliable talent already, but did, Mike, did you also switch over to the new? I did also switch over, so hey, I did. Uh, yeah, because you get reliable Welcome. talent like what six, seventh. No, oh, oh yeah, so you like, oh yeah, you're level eight now. Oh, That's right. Me, yep. I'm so sorry. Yo, roll twenty oh, character sheets got disgustingly. What happened? <laughs> Isn't it awful? Bro. Oh god! I click and it takes like five seconds for like the little circle next to insight to like change color. I don't have expertise. Go away. <laughs> Too bad you haven't now. He, okay. He's definitely unfazed. He definitely appears confused. <laughs> more than anything else, but he doesn't seem upset. (laughs) 
confused. Buddy, come on, you had to know that wasn't gonna work a second time. <laughs> Didn't work the first time. <laughs> exactly. That's why that's why he's confused. He's over two. This never happens. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I make like an, an additional note under the fire Janasi part in my notes that's just like dumb. <laughs> D-U-M dumb yeah. <laughs> Underlined And I show it to Mel <laughs> She just kind of like Intently looks at it like she's studying something And just mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright I'll just Squeeze past you. Um, <laughs> you <read? laughs> yeah, We've you all been in the way. To the side for the entire time. I'm nope. still. I don't move. I make him go around me. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds about. Sounds I have a great right. vantage point where I am. Fuck that. And around you, he does go. Yep. <laughs> You're I don't, slow in your cantrips. I have it in my spells, and for some reason, roll 20 gave it to me also as a cantrip. <laughs> and I don't what, know why. <laughs> what, 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 you just didn't read the new rules? Where yeah. now, we're, we're now slow as a cantrip that affects everyone in a 500-minute <laughs> No, that's, that's why it's taking forever, is because slow is a cantrip that's specifically affecting your roll 20 sheet. Apparently, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that sounds about right. Brutal out here, man. Mm -hmm. well, you know, get fucked, I guess. Yeah. Well, Anyways. I don't think there's anything else for us out here. Follow Orca. Orca's praying. She's having a good old time. Oh, I thought you left. I mean, I left, but I'm like praying as I'm walking. To the flower patch. Yeah, what, you ah. never walked and prayed before? Camel yeah, thing before. Dear deity of my choice, please never <laughs> let me see that man again. Thank you. <laughs> hey, mom. Remember it may concern. As a she would waste a prayer on him. <laughs> hey, moms, the fuck? <laughs> Based a prayer, you get unlimited. Yes, Josh. I don't care about any of that. That's the point. <laughs> Just because you get unlimited priors doesn't mean you want to use them. She's out here praying for the safety of a mother and her child. Thank you very much. Right. Anyways. Night night. Any we go to our flower sleeping pods. <laughs> You do. Yeah, no fucking kidding. <laughs> I love my flower sleeping pod, though. And you find that they are all well well kept and ready for you to sleep you the night away. Sweet. Or stay awake endlessly in your catatonic states. Yep. <laughs> or sit, sit, sit quietly in the dark and wait for the next day to begin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So much free time. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I love waiting for the sun to be. <laughs> Is there anything anybody would like to do or discuss before the completion of the long rest? I feel like I'm fucking forgetting something, but no? Didn't someone need to talk with somebody? <laughs> I can't remember who those two people are. Yeah, no idea. I know he Intent. needs to talk to me, but I have something to ask him that's, I guess, kind of also about that. So it works out, but I don't know if our conversation is happening now. I don't know. Do you want it to? I don't know. You're the one who wants to talk to me. It's your decision. But I go talk to Wolfhard about something. Okay. I go talk to Orca. But... <laughs> I go to sleep in a flower. <laughs> Orc is like getting steady in the flower as Hane pulls up. He's like, well, it's like a we'll, hammock. Uh, yeah, we'll do the conversation between Hane and Orca first, so that 
Two also of the other people can figure out what the fuck's going on with your conversation. <laughs> it's not my decision, it's his. That's uh, fine. I hate it, Orca. Uh, Arson, well, I, as I see that Orca it. is getting ready to just go straight to sleep, Hayden is just like, it's like, oh, sorry, you're going to bed. I'm, I'll ask you another time. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> 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 I love it. Thank you. She got like in the air. She was just getting comfortable, and then she freezes and looks at Hayne and says, "Well, now I can't go to sleep. Might as well ask me now." Oh well, I've just noticed that you've been swinging your uh, your weapons around at nights a bit, and I was wondering if you wanted to spar sometime. Yes. Training montage. <laughs> do, 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 do you want to do this right now? Orca, like, immediately swings up and grabs the shiny sword. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. Don't decapitate any flowers, please. We go outside, guys. Come on. <laughs> we, we are outside. <laughs> <laughs> outside, outside. The outside of the outside, okay? <laughs> go outside. <laughs> go, Sorry, here, no. Let go me play in the street. <laughs> Why are Orca's you in the like house? Go, <laughs> go dodge Orca's the cars. Like, Jumping up and down, just like really excited, like a lot of nervous energy that's been <laughs> pent up. Oh god. Cool. <laughs> cool. So you both spar. Yeah, just do do some light training. Very nice. All right. And now we can like, switch yes. over to the other two. Okay. Walk over. I'm like, hey, buddy, do I need to be like, how worried am I supposed to be here? Like, do you know, like, you all have an inkling of what this conversation is about? Like, do I need to worry for, like, my limbs? Like, do I need to ask Kane to be there? Do I need a chaperone? That's why I keep forgetting that she thinks she's gonna get attacked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we haven't exactly seen him in a very, in any really nice state, so he's been very aggressive, so. <laughs> I think it would go worse if you brought Hain. Because he doesn't want any witnesses to this crime? He I say I'm too young very, to die, but... He has very choice feelings about Hain in particular. What did Hain ever do? Exists. Not exactly no what head. he. Not exactly what he did. More about what he is. Headless. That's rude. Sure, we'll go with that. Also, follow up. Do I need to like? Do you guys do you, do you both always know what's happening? Like, are you still there? Even when he's, you know, here? Or am I gonna have to, like, uh, give you a recap of, like, what went down to make sure things are, like, copacetic? In the... In the memoir speak, it's... It really depends. Um... Every question, I'm inspired with less and less confidence in all of this. I, hope I would know. assume that in this case... To promote a feeling of not trying to uh, go behind my back, so to speak, to uh, generate trust. That's the word I'm looking for. What phrase? Rather, um, I'm assuming that I will be as present as I can be. Generate trust between what you and you, you and all parties involved. Um, I don't, I don't know. This is the first time he's ever actually wanted to talk to somebody that wasn't explicitly to threaten and or kill them. Those moments are usually very brief, and then I come back and there is something dead. He's and already... You weren't there when the dead deadening happened? You just came back and then dead? Something was dead? Some Someone was dead? 
He's not going to kill you. I really asked him that much. He's... No. There's You're a lot that gonna... happens between life and death, I hope you know. There's, you know, there's maiming and more maiming and... I am aware. I could go blind. Or you could, like, take my hands. I need my hands. Or my feet. No permanent damage. I'd say my head, but, you know, hang gets by well enough without a head, so I'm sure I could make it work eventually. Are we having this conversation here in the flower? I don't know what to call this place. I'll be honest. I've, I've. No. Does this place even have a name, or is it just the flowers? No, he wouldn't want to have it here. Okay, well, do we do it after the leaving of this place? When, like, we're playing a game of telephone <sighs> world, fuck. <laughs> what would this be? <laughs> playing a game of secret message, I don't know. Carrier, we're playing a game of carrier pigeon. Playing a game of messenger. Yeah, messenger, don't shoot. <laughs> I mean, if you can, it could just be done now. We just. Will we go where? Do I need to worry about him attacking somebody else? No. Hey, Josh. Hello. Would it be fair to assume that the inn is probably the highest point in the city beyond the tree itself? Yeah, I can't. My, my brain can't picture the layout of this place. Uh, technically, the like the flower beds on the tree are the highest point. Okay. Yeah, but those are flowers, not like an actual building structure. Correct. Then, yeah, it would be the end. We're above, we're elevated? In my mind, there was no. like a tree and everything was flat. <laughs> I mean, the flower beds on the tree are part way up the tree. You guys are not in that flower bed. Yeah. That makes sense. So we're just like at ground level? Yes. Okay. I was like, we're elevated? When did we get elevation? I was like, is this place not just flat with a tree? <laughs> this. Okay, I was yeah. very confused. I was like, when did we add elevation? I'm lost. <sighs> Do you want to have that conversation now, or would you rather wait? How am I supposed to know? I don't know what the conversation is. At this point, I have no idea what's going to happen. It could be... I'm aware what do you think? Should we wait until after? Do I need to be concerned? Will this affect me in some way? Or I might it be could. less useful in... Well, I'm not inside your head, Wolfheart, so figure it out. And I'm not inside his. I ex He's inside yours? Look, if we're judging levels of communication with the thing inside of you, you rank much higher than me. There shouldn't be any lasting effects until tomorrow. So it's really just a matter of do you want to satisfy your curiosity now or wait? Of course I want my curiosity satisfied. That answers the question, let's go. 
And Wolfhard just starts walking. I go look for Hain real quick. I'm like, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> you would find Hain sparring yeah, with Wolfhard. I just follow the sounds of weapons. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> yeah. I walk over, wave my hand. Like, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. Jesus. <laughs> I picture that you actually just like wave your hand and just stop and just pause. <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah. Orca just like pauses her foot's in the air and she's just bouncing with their, her sword, just quite literally pausing <laughs> in statue mode. <laughs> Idle animation. That's impressive. I look over at Hay and I'm like, if I don't come back in. You know, I really don't know the time frame, but apparently I'm going to go have a conversation with the thing that lives inside of Wolfheart. So, I apparently am no, there is no threat to my life. But if I don't come back, well, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> Jesus. We're good Orca at communication in this party. You'll right. avenge me, thanks, Orca. Uh... <laughs> Morgan does not very. I'm I'm sure if anything happens, uh, like Trig will help as a gesture, and uh, Trig is standing right behind you. No, I'm just like Jesus, Trig. <laughs> God, you can't just sneak up on me like that, okay? Too late. I already did. <laughs> uh, he says he's been standing there the whole time. When I know you've uh, been standing there the whole time. You're always just standing there the whole time. No, he means like for, for the whole conversation, he was there. <laughs> well, I was... My thoughts were elsewhere, okay? You can't blame me. You're very just... You blend, okay? It's a good thing. <laughs> you blend! I'm very jealous, Jesus. actually. I wish I could... Jesus Christ. Such a way. He said it's easier to blend in when you don't need to breathe. Yes, yeah, sir. You know? I never thought about it like that before. Hmm. Alright, well, again, point still stands. If something happens to me, well... Well, not much I'll be able to do about it, but, you know, at least you'll know. <laughs> yep, and we will avenge your life and your honor. Awesome. Cool. You can put me into your pocket watch thing that you have if ever I'm still around. Hopefully if something does happen to me, it's traumatic enough so that Mel can talk to me, and then I won't be alone in the afterlife. <laughs> or the weird in-between place. Jesus. Play. Okay. Well, You're asleep. <laughs> I am. <laughs> God. May the mother of the bit protect you. I... Damn. Sure, why not? I'll take it. <laughs> to be haunted by my own friends. <laughs> yeah, but at least I'd be better company. <laughs> mm, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> depends on how Yikes. you come back. It depends on how I die. <laughs> yeah. It really <laughs> does. <sighs> That's true. You could just be, you could just be caught in an endless death loop. That's true. true. How unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Or just Anyways. angry. Well, if this is the last time I see all of you, it's been interesting traveling together. You will be missed. <laughs> oh, I'm not and dead yet! Goes back to sparring. She goes back to sparring. <laughs> you, you will be missed yeah. immediately strikes towards Hain. <laughs> ah, shite! <laughs> you will be ah. missed. God. <laughs> um... I mean, that's a good one. It's not a prayer, it's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Josh, no. what, is a threat? what is a threat but a promise of violence? And remember, I always make good on my promises. Oh, God. Yeah. It's true. Anyways. Ah, what the fuck? So, so here's the part where I jump in. Yeah, uh, and and give our our good viewer 
the warning. <laughs> I was wide to see you. Our good viewer, which is Joe, going back through in, in a few years, yeah. saying, "Ah, uh, good memories. It's a shame. It's a shame that every. It's a shame that we had such a blowout." Look, we know we're not taking off like Critical Role. We're not. This, I mean, this is a recording. Like, you know, we, we might get there one day. We say fuck too much for goes, that. Goes back. Yeah, fuck. What we're gonna do? Uh, <laughs> Actually, we're we're very popular on my channel. <laughs> God damn it, Mike. It's just me reacting to our game. <laughs> There's so many hours of content. <laughs> I remember when I said that. It was a good line. Uh, Anyways, God, uh, continue. To, to anybody that, you know, if, if we do make it big in the future and you're coming back and watching, uh, or if you discovered us last week and you want to catch up with us, either way... Uh, we appreciate having you here. If if you are not one of us going back to the recording to catch up on old times, and uh, I leave you with a warning: some really graphic shit is going to be portrayed in this conversation. Don't say I didn't warn you. I don't like uh, getting this warning at the same time. We're, we're not going to be part of the we're, conversation. We're not, gonna have a timestamp for you unless joe goes to the extra work of doing that um so Perfect. skip ahead and pray you don't out. hear anything unwanted and uh just skip through you'll find it eventually or you good won't luck and you know listen to it on half speed if you have to to really get, get all of the details yeah. <laughs> our you know, two time speeds yeah you know, Oh, I don't you know, know like, man. You like, you'll you'll, you'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, well, this is why I told you not to eat so much. Look, <laughs> it, 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 if you found us, you're resourceful, and if you're resourceful, you'll figure it out to skip ahead of this conversation if you don't want to hear it. That's all I'm saying. I'll try and put a right? time stamp timestamp in the description for when this conversation ends for anybody that is listening currently. Ah, there we go. I knew Joe would have your back. I will do what I can. I make no promises. This is that's why we my, appreciate Joe. That's and that's that's my the warning. Only to, reason, really. To, I mean, uh, there's several reasons. It's one of the reasons. That's, that's my warning to the potential viewer and Tori. Continue. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's really cool of you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. And technically, anybody else present that didn't want to listen to the conversation, you have been warned. Speak now and go away. Speak now <laughs> and go away. I object. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Are Damn, you talking that about? sucks. Hearsay, what? <laughs> you can object in silence over there in the shame corner. Cool. Uh, so, so yeah, after um, Ren goes and says her potential goodbyes, um, you, you would find Wolfheart just standing at the edge of the uh, flower patch. Just, are you done? If I say no, does this? Can I go back? Is it too? Is it too late? I'm messing with you. No, but seriously, what is going on? What do you want? I said I wanted to be your friend, but this is very weird. I hope you know that. I don't know if you've never had friends in your life before. A very odd way of starting friendship. Hmm. And I'm sure Wolfhard could have told you that. You think the man knows anything about making friends? All of his are dead. Well, I mean, there's us. We're not dead. Yet. I mean, we're all really dying, if you think about it. Or have died. I was gonna say, not me. <laughs> yes. The three amongst you which can't even die, right? Am I supposed to be impressed? I mean, I wasn't. it wasn't really about Im impression, but I don't know. I think the... Wait, three among us? Oh, Cantor, right. <laughs> yes, the headless one, the skeleton, and the doll man. Not really a doll, but... Sure. I mean, are you really alive? You just 
live inside of Wolfheart, so don't you kind of rank among the group? What do you mean by friendship? Uh, that you don't kill us all in our sleep, or if things get a little heated, or, you know, just things friends do. Like, not kill each other and you know like I said you're you're in Wolfheart or Wolfheart's in you no you're in Wolfheart and so you know you're part of the group it's probably lonely right To be stuck with a sad man's thoughts and shame? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, well, cut him some slack. As you said, all his friends are dead. He's got some bad knees. Life's rough. Get it? Uh-huh, rough? Sorry. Um... <clears throat> I don't know, what do you, do you, what, what are you, really? That's a question. What are you, really? You're just, that's just answered my question with a question and your question wasn't an answer so you first mine is more difficult to answer with words easier to demonstrate like to paint or something like is it this like a visual of sorts give me a second um he pulls a dagger from a sheath and begins to kind of just in the ground itself, just kind of begin to carve something. Um, well, this is not me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, it's a symbol, maybe about like a foot wide, um, full of lines at strange angles. Um, intersecting oddly. What it is, you can't make out anything, even as the wolf finishes. Um, as he does so, he then kind of stands up, cleans off the dagger, takes a deep breath, and then puts it to the back of Wolfhart's hand and cuts. Um, and as he does so, you can see that the blood that comes out is not Wolfhart's own. It's fairly normal, but this almost tar-like substance, both in color and in viscosity. Has Wolfhart secretly been made of goos this whole time? What is... <laughs> um, he kind of scrapes the wound with the blade to take some of that blood and flicks it at the symbol. And you just it, flicks it at me. I was going to be like, wow, no. you could at least ask her. <laughs> no. uh, flicks it at the symbol. And as it makes contact, you see that blood disperse, um, filling in all the crevices engraved 
and there is just this dull red flicker. Is something supposed to happen with the show and tell? You want to know? Mm -hmm. It's difficult for me to say. Mm -hmm. Touch it and find out. You want me to touch the goo? You don't have to touch it directly. Getting your hand close enough to the glow should complete the circuit, so to speak. Okay. And what will happen? You will see what it means to be me. What I am. <laughs> that is what friends do, is it not? Remove the mystery. What, you didn't know what friendship was two minutes ago. Don't try and teach me what friendship is, okay? You could be a little more forthcoming about what I'm going to see, you know, before I touch it. Other than, I'm going to see what you are. Okay, cool. Anything else? Death, trauma, horror, something? Yes. All of the above? Alright, I should have figured that. That's, you know. Okay. If I come back and something terrible has happened to my body while I was gone, we will have words. And they will not be nice. Mm. I, like, sit cross-legged on the ground because I don't feel like falling over in case I, like, <laughs> pass out or something. Okay. She's like in her head. She's like, oh, "Why did I? Why, why? Why do you always want to be friends with people? I know you were lonely growing up, but that doesn't make this okay." <laughs> oh, stick my hand in the glowy. <laughs> okay. Why not? <laughs> you, yeah, you, you do so. Uh, Renna, your eyes open or closed when you do this? Probably open. No one likes to stick their hand in something unknown when they're closed. Okay. Uh, fair. <laughs> your eyes pop out of your head. You're blind. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Fuck you. <laughs> Two wolves come out of the forest and devour your face. Game oh. over. <laughs> Please try um, again. <laughs> okay, yeah. You uh, reach your hand into this glow. And as you do so, um, you blink. And the first thing you notice about this new vision you're in is the uncomfortable weight pressing in on you at all angles. Submerged almost in the depths of something. Something fluid, but not quite water. takes you a second to adjust to the fact that you are submerged in from what you can tell from what you can seem to be in an ocean of blood it grows do I have control of me well who's not definitely not me but you know or am I yeah. just being thing no you you have control. You still feel your your body. You can move your fingers and any other such appendages you would like. Sorry, um, I don't mean me as in like the me me. I mean the me in this weird dream or am I just seeing things? Uh, I, I mean you look down and you do appear to still be yourself. You are in more of an astral state but as far as you can tell, you look like you. Um, okay, but I have no control of the person who's swimming in goop. <laughs> it's just a feeling. 
For now, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, you do have control. Is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Gotcha. So I can try and leave the blood. You can attempt. Cool. I try and find my way out of the blood. Okay. Who knows what way is up? I don't know, but I try and find it. <laughs> make a, uh... I guess make a survival check. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sick. I'm so glad my super awesome wisdom stats will carry me through this. Nope. Woo! Woo! Drowned in blood! Let's go! <laughs> Distracts! <laughs> You pick a direction and move. And as you do so, there's no change in your scenery surrounding you. You feel movement. You feel as though you have moved, but there is no evidence of you having done so. How how long do you try? No, I'm assuming I can't breathe. Do I need air? You seem to be unaffected by the fact that you are submerged at the current moment. Other, than, well, that's not true. Um, you can breathe. You, you you are not running out of oxygen. Do I have fucking gills? Am I able to breathe through blood? This is weird. Um, and if I look around, it's just I don't. I can't imagine. I see very well through blood. No, not 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 particularly. Um, yeah, it's not very translucent. No, definitely not. It's a lot harder than water. Surprise. Um, yeah, uh, you look around, and it takes a moment for your eyes to focus on the much, uh, shall we say, cloudier substrate. Um, but you do see. Somewhere off in the distance, a bit movement. The entities that you see aren't necessarily very large, but they don't seem fish like or whatever would be adapted to live in this ocean, whatever it is. Going in the blood with me? Gross. Yeah. Um. Cool. Are there more than one of them? Um, from what you can tell, there seem to be three. Are they coming towards me? They're not. It seems like two of them are fighting each other. And when you say they're not fish, what do they look like if they're not fish? Uh, at this distance, it's hard to make up details. Uh, they seem deer like. Ah, what's yeah. the worst that could happen? <laughs> I go towards the deer fish. <laughs> okay. Uh, you propel yourself, um, towards this strange sight. And as you do so and get closer, uh, the kind of surrounding area is bre is illuminated in this deep, uh, deep is the wrong word, uh, in, in this kind of dim uh, light, illuminating these two deer, ostensibly, um, kind of clashing uh, with their antlers towards towards one another. Uh, Wait, you can, am I swimming as I move through this? Is that... Uh, I, you, you seem to almost be less swimming and more just like propelled by will. Oh. Okay. As, as, as though to sink to move like compels some strange current in the blood to drag you forward. Nice. Um, yeah, you see what seems to be two deer clashing, um, a third 
Uh, resist a little further back. Uh, you see this one lacks antlers entirely, apparently a doe. Um, these two deer clash for a bit before one rears its head back and strikes into the chest of the other. The impaled deer kind of cough sputtering spasms before uh, seemingly succumbing or at least uh, admitting some sort of defeat, maybe. It's difficult to tell. Um, as, as it does so, the victor of this clash kind of pulls their antler, pull, pulls their antlers away, begins to move towards the uh, the doe. And as, as it does so, you can feel almost resonating through this vast reservoir a an infinitely deep voice um stating for a mate and as it does so you see these these deer in in this blood just kind of disapparate uh discorporating into the blood itself And beyond them, you can see another scene set before you. Do you to the do next you... horror picture show. Yeah, let's just <laughs> keep on moving on. <laughs> you continue for for a bit. Um, this one, you can see much larger creatures. These are bears though distinctly different as these ones have two heads they are also significantly larger more the size of an elephant than like a grizzly bear Jesus Christ. um as as one just begins to clash with the other in a ferocious battle of claws and biting um the two of them clash for a significant time each one garnering a fair amount of wounds before almost as simultaneously the uh, the larger of the two just grabs onto the necks of both heads and with a vicious crunch snaps them. Once again, as, as the loser perishes you hear that infinitely deep voice for territory. These bears disapparate and a third scene yet awaits you. Super cool. Awesome. On to the next horror show. The third one, you see a um, it, it seems to be a small, small herd of deer, five or so, um, running through trees behind which you see a similarly sized pack of wolves following. Um, this scene follows follows one of these deer as they are hounded away from the rest of their herd and slowly over time hounded basically into a corner whereupon the entire wolf pack pounces. What little you see of the deer after that is in pieces. Um, practically stripped clean in minutes. That voice rings out for a third time for survival. Again, disapparation and a fourth scene. These ones appear humanoid, as far as you can tell. They're humans? From, from, from what you can tell, each one before has been bestial, but from what, what you see ahead of you, 
appears to weird be weird gear, to... weird bear, weird wolven beard, now humanoids. Okay. Correct. Well, let's go see what the humans have to offer. It can't possibly be worse. Okay. Haha, <laughs> right? <laughs> As you approach, it's unsettling as these two before you even really get terribly close each draw blades and rush at each other they begin a frenzied hacking there is no delicacy there is no attempt at at any sort of sword play or anything this is a basically frenzied attempt to kill one another. Um, vicious wounds are sustained on both sides of all stripes. Um, blows laying open the, the chest cavity and abdomen, leaving guts strung everywhere, eyes being cut out, um, decapitations, uh, amputations, all sorts. But every time, very shortly after these what would be killing blows happen, they knit themselves back together. It is an endless display of violence and murder. Who doesn't love never ending fighting? Hey! Uh, go ahead and make me a perception check real quick. <laughs> okay. Woo! Um, Eight. <laughs> Look, it's hard it's to see through blood. Okay. <laughs> it's difficult to. No, Krista, that's wrong. Do you hear Josh talking at all? No, I am Dom yeah. God now. <laughs> I am God. <laughs> um, it's hard to tell amidst the destructive combat in front of you. But you get this unshakable gut feeling. At least one of these is wearing your face. And I don't mean as in adopting your visage, not like a disguised self. It appears. To be me? No. Or it's literally <laughs> somebody who has my face on their face. That's closer. Yeah, it's, okay. It's not the gory visage. It's not as if somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. skinned and peeled, but it, it, <laughs> it stapled my face to their face. <laughs> it, it, pr probably more accurate is like, you know, the Michael Myers, where yeah, you can yeah. clearly tell he's wearing a mask. That's yeah. also gross, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's comforting. And who's the other person? Do I recognize the other face? No. Oh, nice. That's always awesome. That's great. It has elements you recognize in brief glimpses, but every time you look at it, it's different. Sometimes it looks like faces from your past, but only briefly. Like that. The voice rings out for the fourth time. For no reason, specifically. Do you understand what is placed before you? No? What what was this supposed to show me? The reasons. The reason you must exist, Ferox. You 
You are to encapsulate violence itself. Oh, I see you didn't mean me. <laughs> the beast is simple. It wishes to survive, to carve its own place, and to reproduce. But these misshapen things, and on, on the word things, the humanoid figures freeze and slowly begin to just vibrate apart. Oh, that's comforting to watch. They will maim, slaughter, and burn simply because it suits them. Do not look away. Violence is the way of the beast. And these things leave themselves above it. You will remind them they are not. I don't say anything. <laughs> Ren, you... I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> you feel something. Don't like that. Two things, actually. That's worse, but keep going. You feel that this is a termination, an end point. You can stop here. Pull away from whatever this vision is. Oh, I hate when you guys do this. But there is something more here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you can't dangle things in front of me. That's rude. I know. I have no self-control. That's not cool. Fuck it. Into the fire. You push at the edges of this vision, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, and you feel something snap. And as you do so, you feel a ripple in undulation in this endless in this endless sea pushing against you for that can't be bad you can feel something moving in the water oh is it a fish can it be a fish <laughs> like a totally normal sized fish do you look in the direction i mean i don't really have any other choice everything else is just goop <laughs> Yeah, fair. Uh, you, see, you see the impression of something. Off in the distance, though. So hard to gauge how far. Totally normal sized fish. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> it is large, but not unreasonably so. Not a fish, per se, but a whale, perhaps. If you're unlucky, a particularly large shark. You're telling me it's time to break out the whale's beak. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> you can certainly try. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> it is clearly moving your way. The yeah. size is... It, it, it grows at a size unspeakable. Yeah. Almost drawn to your presence. Yep. 
I don't gets, go anywhere. Yeah, as yeah, as it gets closer, you can see this thing, maybe only a fragment of itself, but still unspeakably impossibly large, something that could swallow islands, maybe half the continent of Ascantha in its entirety. Something not entirely only aquatic. You can see that parts of it are feathered, parts of it are furred, parts of it are scaled, but not like a fish, almost draconic. The, 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 the color of which you can't begin to describe. Your mind grasps for words, but all it finds is the color of a madman's fraying sanity, the the hue of the murderer's glee. No. Hey, I am very aware of how, you know, colors smell and taste, so you know what? I can figure this out. <laughs> I've got that skill set now. <laughs> Thanks, Hayne. Yeah, it, it might be something Hain could try to help you define, but you'd need a source of this, and you've never encountered any any color that makes you so confused as to draw conclusions like this. Um, yeah, you you, you can see it, it doesn't only have fins, but it has these large warped legs chitinous, almost millipede-like, rolling across its body, each terminating in wicked claws. The thing's head is shark-like, but its multitude of eyes are from every possible predatory creature you can imagine. Eagles, bears, sharks, tuna, spiders, even. It's massive maw opens. You do not hear sound. But as the pressure wave hits you, body and mind in equal proportion, I only have one question for you. What do you think breaks first? Ren's mind or her body? No! <laughs> so can we like rewind 30 minutes and I go, nah, Wolfheart, you know, I'm chilling. You can keep your thoughts to yourself. I don't need to be your friend with whatever's inside of you. <laughs> nope! Too bad, this is honor mode. <laughs> Ain't no quick save for this bitch. Um, I want to get refund. <laughs> I want off the ride. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> um, cool, cool, cool. Well, I mean, I, I can have you roll a wisdom and a con save, and we can go based on that. If you, if you, if you're not sure. I mean, stats-wise, it's my brain well, goes yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I was like, either we can do Charisma Con, like, e either way. But, like, I guess, no, technically, I guess the 20 kind of balances. I mean, I'm trying to think. No, it would probably be body first. Okay. Um, you are... No answer is a good answer here. Yeah, yeah. You, you are no. No answer is a good answer here. Yeah. You are you are unfortunately frustratingly prescient as this pressure wave reduces you to nothing. You feel every ounce of your skin shred, every fi every fiber of muscle explode, every organ liquefy. Oh, cool. That's fun. I'm really glad I came here. So glad I made a new friend today. <laughs> as as you do so, the last remaining 
essence of you torn to nothing. You awake. Jolting backwards. Falling effectively right into the dirt. Probably probably hitting your head. Who's sitting down? It's not that far, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still... Oh, God. Yeah, it's still like a... <laughs> And can you remind me what the name the weird voice said again? Of like, hey, bro, you need to be violence incarnate, because, yeah. Ferox. I will send it to you. It, it's probably spelled like how it sounds, but just to be sure. Yeah. I was going to say, let's see. Yeah, okay, I thought it was two R's, so close enough. Nope, just one. Cool, cool, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Now, do I be mean? No. <laughs> Ren's been through enough. <laughs> That's your choice. You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> she's just like... It's just kind of like laying there and just like rubs her head while she's just like laying in the dirt. Like, bro, what the fuck was that? I mean, I had a vague, you know, it's a weird ooze rune on the ground, but come on! There was no more warning for what I was about to witness in there other than you're going to understand. He, like, picks up a handful of dirt and throws it at a wolf. <laughs> Where's the fun? That was supposed to be fun? For me. She holds out her hand, like, help me up at least. Stupid weird ooze dream. Get me off the dirt. <laughs> he, he does so. <laughs> Stands up, brushes herself off. So what, that's where you come from? That's... What, that is you get to witness, like, a quick snapshot of your childhood? I suppose that's one way to put it, yes. My... Survival day. Your survival day. That all happened in one day for you? It is the simplest unit of time. From where I come, it does not work the same. My kind and I exist between reality and unreality. And how did you end up stuck inside Wolfheart? Because it was the will of my great parent. The thing you saw. The thing you died from. Would have died from. Were that not a memory. It felt pretty real. Thanks again, by the way. You know, I've already been torn apart once in a semi-similar fashion, and I really wasn't keen on doing it again. That was really fucked up for not giving me a heads up, by the way. Our friendship is teetering on a very thin line. How am I supposed to know what you've lived through? You don't talk about it. Oh, because you're one to really open up about yourself. The event that just happened, obviously not included in that conversation, in that, you know. <clears throat> so, wait, has Wolfheart been calling you Wolf this whole time and you have a name? 
He does not care to learn. I do not care to instruct if he does not wish to. Have you, wait, you've never told him and he didn't care? Or you've never... He wishes to know as little about me as possible. And you've never come out, right, and just been like, hey man, my name is... You never tried that approach? It's like ooze, rune, or bust with you? It's never come up. Never been relevant. He calls me the wolf, and that's fine. That is, after all, what the scientist that put me in him wanted me to be. God, we need to work on Wolfhard's interpersonal skills. This is just... You may have a difficult time of that. Well, you know, you could probably lay off of him a little bit with the doom and gloom inside of his mind. I'm sure that would help. That doesn't stop the fact that he's ashamed because of you. Ashamed because of me? Or like you as in like, are we talking about like the collective? You specifically. What did I do? But that you was a question, know. by the way, Gulp. over friend. I know I was gonna say, be that you're having the most banging gulps of water I've ever heard. I'm so sorry, I thought I was muted. No, you literally <laughs> sounded like you hadn't drank in days. You had just crossed the Sahara Desert and you were seeing water for the first time in Yeah. So long. Listen, it listen, no. it's l listen, it's fine. The levity is will a lot? Yeah, yeah, listen. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. The levity is needed after ego death. I'm out, I'm out here dying from COVID. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're allowed. It was just very funny in the very long silence of just hearing go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was so ingrained. I was so in tune with what's going on. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the. the uh, Ferox stares at you and then just a wolfish grin just splits the face and just <laughs> oh you don't know oh that's funny okay laughing at things that not everyone is privy to is another part of friendship that you know we don't do that We're supposed to share <laughs> oh that's not mine to share that's what? his problem. Is he going to be upset that you told me? Or oh. implied? Oh, probably, yes. Okay, we can tone down the weird... This is probably why you don't have a lot of friends. I hope you know that, right? You have a very off-putting aura from probably most people. I grew up in a place that's like, I was surrounded with things like you or that acted like you i've seen things that are kind of like you so it's not that weird to me but you know like maybe but only pale imitations i mean they were just different no need to get all up on your high horse about how special you are another part of friendship by the way you're supposed to bring people back down to earth when they're getting a little too up hmm don't want you to suffer another ego death now do we if I had died there I would not be here now Oh, I thought that was, like, part of the whole thing. Mm. 
You were not strong enough to survive the bellow. But that is not your fault. Uh. No mortal is strong enough to. What was it that, is, uh, by the way, it is, like your grand... What did you say? Your great-parent? Yes. My kin and I all begat of the same entity. So, like, what are you exactly? Because I saw some weird-looking things in there. Some of you were, like, deer. Some of you were very weird-looking bears, wolves. And your great-parent was, like, a mix between everything, I guess, but kind of like a whale. Like the weirdest whale I've ever seen. We are uh, predators, for lack of a better way of phrasing. Effectively, what would so make you say the er predators or just predators? And I misunderstood. No, er predators. Er, er predators like yeah, you yeah. are predator apex i guess might be the best way to put it oh per perfected or at least what our parents believes would be perfect at the moment of our creation so riddle me this then mr apex predator if you're supposed to be some you know super strong, powerful, you know, creation of survival. He just sort of, like, gestures at Wolfheart. How'd you end up in him? Our father implanted us in beasts in the forest surrounding the man's city set us upon a smaller village outside the settlement. Whereupon we then ravaged and sloughed off from our bestial hosts. Not too long after it was when one of their scientists found us Or did your father, like, hate you or something? Did he weaken you on purpose? Was it some kind of test? Or was it just like, a, we're bored? Right we cannot exist in our fullness in reality. Oh. We occupy a space between. Oh. To fully engage <clears throat> with one... Or the other requires us to be lesser. Oh, is that why they called you the wolf? Did your dad put you in a dog? <clears throat> You're not far off. So you're telling me, Mr. Big Bad Apex Predator of the in-between of reality and not reality had two fluffy ears and a cute little tail that is not the truth of it but you've already ran rampant with that image and nothing I say will change it so <laughs> you see that she's giving you sort of a very similar smile back and <laughs> she's just like this is all I'm going to picture you as now In truth, I did not know what to make of your offer of friendship. 
I take it there's no friendship in the space between reality. I have been called upon before with glittery words and promises. So what I wonder is, where is your knife? What's I mean, the, it's right there on my hip, but I assume you you mean like the... What's the stab catch? You in the, yeah, okay. Um, don't kill me? I don't know, it feels pretty simple. Wolfheart made you out to seem like some, I don't know, uncontrollable menace to society that needed to, you know, be on a tight rein at all times. And that, you know, every time we asked, you know, would you kill us? Would you hurt us? Would you, would you, would you? It was always met with a, eh, maybe. There was never really ever a concrete, no, you'll be fine. And so I figured, well, maybe he just doesn't know us. Is it really just a thing living inside you? He's not very forthcoming. I'm sure you know. You're in there too. The man is a coward, afraid of his emotions and, and his potential. Okay, well, we're not all perfect. Clearly. Although, I do agree, Wolfhard probably has some things to work through, as we all do. But, him yeah, probably a little more than most. He still views our greatest act with shame. Was your greatest act the... What was it again? Friend, one of his friends? Multiple friends? Didn't he kill them? One, yes. Because they asked him to. But no, not our greatest act. One of my parents' kin, for lack of a better word. There is no relationship, only similarity encroached upon the world in its entirety we, by the world I'd assume you don't just mean this one I just mean I think you're just the royal world as in reality or do you specifically mean this world this one oh, in okay. specific the man city Salonara We slew it. At least as much as you can for an entity that is not fully real. But it incurred great cost, including the man's other closest hunting partner besides me. The one, and I'm assuming this is a different hunting partner from the one that was already killed? Correct. Gotcha, okay. All of the mortal beings the man called Hunting Partner have long since perished. This one was his favorite, however. The one he called his sister. He could not handle the grief at her death, and so I took control. And with our combined power, we shattered the mirrored god. But he does not see that we proved our might. Only that he lost a companion. Well, it's not quite the same for us. We don't all just come from some in-between with no real familial ties. Yes. We were sort of born and bred to 
three things. <laughs> or a little more complicated than that. Yes. Yes, you are. So is there some end game for you? Just, you know, wait till Wolfheart kicks it or trying to weasel your way out and go if if I had wanted him if I had wanted him dead, I would not have pulled him away at the last second before that strange dinosaur dragon trampled him. That is why we have legs as that we do. The bad knees. That must be a real punch in the gut for something like you, huh? Infuriating. We're working on it. it costs a lot of money to fix those. I'm aware. Uh... So you're just hanging around because you what happens if Wolfheart goes so do you and if the man perishes I return I hope <laughs> in truth I'm not certain I'm sorry wait you don't know the man lacks the ability to contact those things between where that where I could ascertain as such. We do not know one that could. Or more accurately, we do know one that could, but the man will not entertain the concept. He fears the doctor, after all. Damn, out of everyone in this story, I'm surprised the doctor is the only one still alive. Well, the scientists are not the ones that go into battle. They only create the weapons. True. Although, if the slight news that the man receives from his city is to be believed, the doctor may be turning himself into a weapon. Yeah, that's not good for anybody, but... I'm uncertain of the source. I do like not. If it's one of your in. Correct. Adopting a bestial aspect doesn't seem the doctor's nature. I don't know. Maybe there were some leftovers from that mirror or whatever that you spoke about. Maybe they yoinked some of that. That is the concern. Oh. Well, that wouldn't be good, but. I guess there's not much we can really do at the moment. Correct. Also, I feel like... He seems really strong, but... Eh. Mm. So... How much of this is Wolfhart gonna remember? Or no. Still not quite figuring out if this is like how this switcheroo situation works between you two. He will have the option to remember it. I doubt he will. The option to? But like, can you withhold from him? Or just, can he just take everything in the way and like you can take everything? I can withhold. I will opt not to in this case. If I asked you to withhold something, would you? In the name of this newfound friendship? I may. That depends entirely upon what you wish hidden. Do 
she holds out her hand in like a shake my hand kind of He takes it. Cool. As she shakes his hand, he goes, My name is Ren. Um. As, <laughs> as, uh, as, as his hand pulls away, uh, you can feel uh, the, the claw... The, the kind of like clawed finger of his middle finger just catch against your palm just enough to tear it a little. My skin? Yeah, a little bit. Rude, bro. Whoa, bro, bro, that cool, that cool, bro. Contract made with words alone means little. To shed blood means you have skin in the game, to use one of your phrases. <laughs> okay. You know, next time, you could just ask. Fair. Funny. I had always figured you for a bird. I was never sure what type. Well, if you knew what my last name was, you'd understand. It's actually extremely on the nose, I have to admit. It's... Hmm. Fair. So why do you want the man to not know your true self? Like you said, there's... I was waiting for the knife. And in whose heart did you bury it? You know, funny enough, everyone thinks I did the burying, but I didn't do any knife burying. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a really big thing. Everyone thinks I killed someone, and I didn't. Just the convenient patsy, then. Just worked out that way. Although most people don't think I actually... It's just one of those rumors, you know? I don't know if they have rumors in the in-between of reality, but... It's not uh, like I'm outright really accused. Enough with the concept. Yeah, I'm not outright accused or anything. It's not like people... People aren't looking for me to, like, arrest me or anything like that. Actually. For a whole other reason. But people assume that the reason is because... Is that people are looking for me to arrest me because... Supposedly, allegedly, as we've been using today, I killed someone. It's very, it's very fey. Honestly, probably the most boring of everything that's ever gone on in my life. Well, maybe not the most boring. It's fairly exciting. It's not every day someone accuses you of murder. What do they call it when you kill, like, royalty? Regicide? Regicide. Regis regicide. Yeah, it's not every day, you know, but it happens, I guess, to some people. She just, like, wipes the blood <laughs> from her hand from the little prick, just like... <laughs> no, but actually, next time, you could just ask, okay? Like, I, we could have done it, like, my palm is a bit... I mean, I, it, it, it wouldn't be like all the way down. It's just like a no, small no. nick, but yeah. No, that's no, fair. I know, but you know okay. how she is, right? She's just like, yeah. every time, she's like, now every time I'm going to like bend or grab something, it's just going to be, you know, just never, it's going to take so long to like fully properly heal because it's just going to constantly be opening up. Like, just ask next time, okay? That's what friends do. Wait, does this mean I can give you a nickname? Regardless of what I say, you will do so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You tell me that it is absolutely out of the question 
I will simply only use it in my mind. <laughs> Despite the stern demeanor of Ferox, there is just a slight grin that cracks and just... Oh well. But only to use to yourself. Fine. Am I supposed to tell everybody else about what just happened? Or am I supposed to keep that until Wolfheart... I should probably keep that until Wolfheart decides to open up, huh? You are free to speak of it if you like. Whether they believe you or not is a different story. That's true. I mean... They'd probably believe me. I think, anyways. Perhaps it may be best to keep it from the... Religious one. Oh, Orca? Yes. I am uncertain of her creed, but... She bears the spark of zealotry. She's also a... You know, she's a religious one, sure, but it's not quite, like, you know... Only the spark. I mean, Charlie yet... knows that you're inside of him. I, learning about where you come from, I don't think changes all that much. I suppose it depends on the specifics of what you state. She may be well, less joyous to learn the means. I mean, I'm sure I could smooth things over. All I have to do is tell her that you got captured while you were a dog, and I don't think she'll be that worried anymore. <clears throat> it was no longer the canard when I was absconded with, but... What were you then? A monkey? <laughs> Some sort of protoplasm? A large slug. Oh, that's so much... Wait, that's so much better! I'll never be worried about you if I tell her you were captured as a slug. Oh no! Orca, fear not the giant reality creature housed within our friend. He was a slug. Would you still fear me if I was a slug? <laughs> God damn it, Mike! Fuck it off. That was perfect. <laughs> that was, that was amazing. <sighs> oh, this is another follow-up question, and this is probably the last one because I'm not gonna lie, I'm really tired, and this is all catching up to me. Mm. Especially that bellow. I'm gonna have nightmares about that. Thank you very much. Um, that's your. Fault. There will be personal consequences. There will. I'm sorry. What? You want to just run that one by me again real quick? What did you just say? You have glimpsed an eldritch truth. Once the eye is opened, it cannot be closed. And now is the fun part. No! Make a wish. <laughs> oh. Wait, are you serious? This part oh, I did not no. have. <laughs> yep. <laughs> No! Ryan, why have you done this to me? I have a plus two to wisdom save! I thought you were my friend! Oh, no. Uh, well, 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 you see. Pregnant bees matter in the case. <laughs> I can't roll well tonight! This is fair! Alright, roll 1d100. Oh, jeez, oh, Ryan! No, uh, the table! Uh, 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 hey, hey, God. Hello. The table. The table. Hey, 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 God. Yeah. Is this technically triggered by a me effect? Technically. So should we technically be sh should we technically be using the other one? <laughs> yeah. If you're making I this worse like for that. me, I'm so <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> well, here's the, well, here's the thing. You also need to roll a d10 first. I I I hey 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 God, what tier? Short. 
tears. Okay. That's tears. There's That's gonna be tears. Me. I'm gonna start crying. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you add the 7 and the 3, we get to 10, which is then 69. Nice. nice. Close enough. <laughs> okay. Madness! Try and make a friend with an eldritch being, and what do you get? <laughs> Madness! Yeah, great. How do I look? Okay, I know, like, curiosity killed the cat is a thing. I get it, okay? I know that it's like, Tori, just stop, you know, poking the eye of the beholder, and these things won't happen to you. But... <laughs> you wish it was a beholder. I know, I really do wish it was a beholder. <laughs> That'd be so much less worth. <laughs> what am I, like, seven for seven on characters going cuckoo bananas? Listen, you are not having a good, um, like, streak with it. <laughs> um, and I think it's because Tori is too obsessed <laughs> with just knowing everything. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 yeah, I incepted this a few days ago, and I was like, huh, will we get to the point where bad shit happens as a consequence of this? And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's Tori. Of course we will. Of course we will. If there's anything I can do, it is move a plot <laughs> along through sheer curiosity, let me tell you. There's some weird thing that's secretive that we need to find out about. Poke, poke, poke. The only funny thing is, is that when I hold the secret, no one pokes me. <laughs> it's hilarious. This is hilarious. No, it's not. It's not. It's really what kind it? and sweet and nice. And <laughs> I basically am going to be farting rainbows for the next 24 hours. Yep. Did you Did you send it to her as well? Oh, no. No, I didn't. Okay, then, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do well, the fun well, part. I'll also, actually, um, she does need to roll a d4 for duration. Oh, okay. Try to do that now. This does not yes. sound great. It's better not be in fucking days. It better be hours. No, no, it's in years. Well, thankfully, for this, short-term madness is in minutes. Oh, God bless. Well, I say that, but who knows what I'm going to be fucking cuckoo bananas for for the next four minutes. Yeah. Yes! It's a madness table. Boy, they. All right. So. Except now it's the, gonna be at random times. Josh can be like, "Hey, Tori, remember that wisdom save?" And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> "So, for, for the next four minutes, uh huh, uh, you refuse to use your hands for anything, keeping them hidden from view. Uh, if anybody stares at them, it makes you extremely uncomfortable and defensive. And also, you realize that your hands are blasphemous tools." What? Uh, the, 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 uh, <laughs> Your so, hands are unclean. Uh, it, 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 it's it's a D one hundred to reveal the basically the type, and then it's a D ten, which there are three different things. Um, well, and all I meant, I was wondering, what do you mean? My hands are blasphemous tools. Is so, there more after too. that? That no, was, the sentence no, ended at a very no, weird no, no. point. So, <laughs> effectively, I did it backwards. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you oh. you realize your hands are blasphemous tools. Okay. And, and, the, and the effect yeah. of that is yeah, gotcha. you refuse okay. to use your hands for anything, keeping them okay. hidden from view. If someone stares at them, sense. it makes you extremely That's... comfortable, defensive. Okay, yeah. that no. makes more sense because I was like in the other order was like your hands are blasphemous tools. Period, and I was like, okay, and what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does it mean? What is it made? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing it didn't happen earlier with the handshaking, because then oh that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we made it through that part. Um, cool. Yeah, cool. What was I talking about before Josh decided to make me go no idea. bananas? Um, uh, it's it's the fact that na- na- now the gate has been opened and you can't close it. Yeah, there is, was that, is, but... Is what I said. And then... Hang on. Oh, brain. I don't... Work. I don't remember, unfortunately. I know, I'm trying to remember. Uh, oh, I don't remember either. Anyways, well, okay, very swiftly, I guess, her hands all of a sudden just, like, shoot into her sleeves. <laughs> like, one into, like, the opposite sleeves. <laughs> hey, 
Hey God. Is there like the monk sleeve uh, thing? Yeah, exactly that. Would would Ferox know the source of of this sudden madness, or would he be unaware? I was gonna say she becomes instantly paranoid and is like looking over her shoulder while like hiding her hands, which is very very different from the one second before this moment. Ferox would probably know. Okay. Would you DM me the reason then? Because I'm not sure. <laughs> nice. Well, if you're not sure, then I guess you're not sure. wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you uh, too must be uh, in the darkness. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I can make an assumption then. That's fine. Well, that was delayed. What was delayed? Do you think anyone noticed? Noticed. Nothing. Anyways, I need to go. All right. Will Wolf hurt be back in the morning? She's just, like, walking away, like, backwards, like, <laughs> not turning around. Yes. I have okay. no more reason to be above the surface. Oh, that was my follow-up question. And you see she, like, gets, like, kind of excited about it for a second, and then instantly, like, looks back over her shoulder, and then you see you can definitely, like sense like the tightening of her hands like through her clothes like you can see that she's basically like grabbing onto her arms like <laughs> under her sleeves well um if ever I need to talk to you do I just like ask do I just ask Wolfheart yes in case of emergency do you just pop out how does that work you know what? Tell me next time or in the morning. You know what? Oswald Park. He should probably share. Um, I need to go though. And then she just like, as she's like turning to like take off for, she all of a sudden feels the insane need to like wash her hands <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Perhaps when morning comes, you should ask him why he's so afraid of you. Wouldn't that be fun? Sure thing, Fifi. Have a good night. <laughs> she takes off. I should have expected that. <laughs> Me. I go look for water. <laughs> Any water I can find. No thoughts, head empty, I need to find something to dunk my hands into. It's about that point that the uh, madness wears off. Yeah. She just like stops, blinks a few times, un like clenches her hands that were like very much digging into her arms. <laughs> like probably cut herself with, like, clawed herself a bit with her own nails, and she's like, gotta be fucking kidding me. And that's where we're gonna end session. Woo! Woo! Good God. That was loud. That was such a scream. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna end the recording here. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next week. Bye! Bye-bye!